Hey VC, Final Community, uh, Spencer back after what's been the whole summer since I've made a, uh, an update video, but um, it's been a crazy busy summer, so uh, anyway, glad to finally be back and, and making a video. I got tons of stuff to show, both new and used, uh, um, tons of records, uh, tapes and CDs, but I'm just going to focus on the records this time. Maybe if I'm feeling ambitious, I'll do uh, uh, the other stuff, but start with records. So, um, right now playing in the background is Crack the Sky by Mastodon. Awesome records. Uh, I've owned this on CD for since it came out, um, which was 2009, but uh, I finally got the record from uh, a friend who, uh, brand new, still sealed, and... Uh, well, was when I bought it, rather. Um, awesome record. I love this record. Um, yeah, he had two copies of it for some reason, and so I got a really good deal on it. Awesome. And so I'll go through the used stuff first, I think, and then I'll move to the newer stuff. So, yeah, my the same friend that I got the Mastodon from was um, getting, rid of a ton of, uh, getting rid of a ton of records because... Uh, his band's going to the big city to make it famous, and uh, he needed to unload a ton of vinyl. So, good for me, I picked up some stuff. Um, we have got Gentle Giants, uh, The Missing Piece, and I also got uh, Freehand. Sorry, I haven't even really listened to these yet. So, um, Unfortunately, these are both in pretty bad shape, so I'm not gonna be able to do a whole lot of listening which sucks. I'll have to find uh, better copies of these, because what I did here sounded cool. So I know a lot of people in the VC talk about that band a lot. So I uh, picked up a fairly scratchy uh, copy of uh, Sacred Heart by Dio. Just trying to collect all of Dio's stuff. Uh, not my favorite record of his, but uh, it was cool to pick that up. And that reminds me, there's also some Rainbow somewhere. Yes, Rainbow Rising. This is cool, gatefold. And this is playable. I cleaned it up and uh, it's a little scratchy, but uh, it is listenable. So that is cool until I can find a better copy. Very cool. Staying on the uh, Dio trip, I did not get this from my friend. I got this in a record store when I was on vacation earlier in the summer. And uh, it has Rainbow, It's Alive. Sorry, it's Rainbow in the Dark on the A side. It's just a 12 inch signal, single. And then on the B side, it has Stand Up and Shout and Straight Through the Heart live. So that's cool. And there's a cool picture of Dio and the boys. And very cheesy artwork. <laughs> Uh, a couple more things from my same friend, uh, Genghis Tron, Board Up the House. This is awesome. Uh, this is on Relapse Records, so it gives you an idea what it sounds like right there. Um, kind of a metallic hardcore with some blips and bleeps mixed in. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. Anyway, this is really, really cool, and I think it's... Uh, can't remember what the vinyl looks like. It may be interesting. No, it's just black, but it's nice, thick. I'll be 180 gauge. Cool uh, custom labels there. Anyway, really awesome record. Kind of uh, grabbed this from him on a blind buy, but uh, really, really cool. Glad I grabbed it. And then for my friend, I also got this Iron Maiden single. Doesn't seem to have a name. Um, it's got Run to the Hills, uh, Phantom of the Opera, and Lost for Words, Big Aura, uh, which were both recorded at the Hammersmith Odeon in October 84. Very cool. And awesome artwork as always. Uh, then I went to, oh yeah, I went to um, Second Spin Records in uh, St. John, New Brunswick, 
um, who most of you know, because um, he posts on uh, on VC uh, quite a bit. Anyway, just as second spin, awesome little shop. It was the first time I'd been there. Um, they had a great metal selection. Um, I only bought two things, but uh, there were several more that I wanted to buy. Um, anyway, I finally got a copy of the Sword Warp Riders. I've been looking for this record for a long time. I know lots of people have shown this. Um, I think it's their best record. Um, although I like them all, this is probably my favorite. Um, really awesome artwork. Sci-fi uh, concept records. And uh, it's just it's just black vinyl, but uh, really awesome to have that. Um, also from Second Spin, I finally found Heritage by Opeth, their latest album. Cool gatefold with tons of photos. Kind of hard to see them in the video, but. Very cool. And this is actually a used copy, and even though it looks like it's an awesome shape, it's a bit scratchy. I'm just wondering, does anyone else notice that about this record, or is it just my copy? It's probably just my copy. I mean, it's playable. It sounds great. There are, you know, in the quieter parts where it's just piano or acoustic guitar, you can hear some scratchiness, which is a bit annoying, I must admit. I may have to get another copy of this at some point. Just because it's all about Opeth these days for me. As I, uh, as you will soon see. Because, I'll get to that in a minute, but. A uh, couple more used things. Uh, from uh, the same friend who was selling a bunch of stuff. I got Rush Power Windows. And I actually didn't get this from my friend. I got it from a uh, flea market moving pictures. I believe it or not, I didn't own this yet. And this copy is probably a bit beat up. And I probably paid more than I should have. I think it was 10 bucks, although he wanted 15. Yeah, what is it with flea market guys that think they can charge an arm and a leg for records? He had a copy of Fear in the, of the Dark and he wanted 40 bucks for it. And that's not cool. Okay, so as I was just saying, um, I've been on a huge Opeth trip. I mean, I have been for months now, um, uh, ever since I saw them, but even before that, I started to really get into them. Anyway, I've been buying all the Opeth I can find, and so I've been finding a lot recently. I mean, these are all reissues, but um, my arm's here first. All these reissues, though, they sound amazing. So I have no no problems getting reissues. Because when you think about it, music's music, right? I mean, if you've got a good copy of the record, who cares if it's original or not? I'm not saying original's not nice, but I'm not going to go out of my way, I guess is what I'm saying. And then I got uh, Morning Rise. And these are thick, 180 gram. These were uh, put out on back on black, and they're just. Uh, oh, this one actually. Maybe this one's more limited. I don't know because it actually has uh, the gray and white vinyl, which is very cool. Both records look the same. I think I think my arms is just yeah, that's just black. And then final uh, Opeth record for now, which is my latest edition, is Still Life. This is such an awesome record. Wow, every I you know. 
everyone in the VC was saying how awesome this is, and it really is amazing. It, you know, it captures kind of all the death metal stuff that's awesome about Opeth and all the proggy stuff that's awesome about them as well. They just really mix it really well on this album. And it's really old, too. This is their fourth record. And there's uh, Baby Michael there. He looks like he's 18 or something. Anyway, awesome, awesome record. There's the inners. I'm sure people have shown this already, so I don't really need to show it. It's just black. But, awesome. Okay, so a few more uh, new things. Uh, I got Blood Ceremony. I, I showed this on the Facebook page the other night. Only listened to it once. Um, but it's, it sounds really cool from, what, from the one listen I had. Um, it's definitely slicker sounding, more produced perhaps. Uh, which, you know can take away a little bit I think but um but it's definitely the songs are there it's definitely a solid record um I can tell even after one listen I'll be spinning this more probably next actually um and just a few more um I'm loving this record Cadaver. This is their self-titled, and uh, I picked this up because my record store just happened to get it in, and I absolutely love it. It's another collage, photo collage, gatefold. Awesome, love those. And this is actually colored, I believe, and it has a funky label. Yeah, this is cool. This is transparent pink, or uh, clear, I guess, with pink swirls. So you got the cadaver logo, logo. I love that logo. And then on the other side is the... Yeah. Really awesome record. And uh, I know they have a new one out. And I've seen a few people show it. And I can't wait to get my hands on that one. Because uh, really, really loving this. So, and I think I need to grow my beard because there's some e really epic beards. <laughs> and just a couple more. Uh, I got the new Kelvertac. I'm totally pronouncing that wrong. I'm sure. Anyway, uh, it's called Mir. And these guys are cool. I mean, I had their uh, their first album and really fell in love with it. This one's good, but it's not grabbing me quite as strong as the first one. Um, not really sure why. Which kind of sucks because uh, I wasn't able to get the vinyl of the first record. And maybe it'll be reissued, but I haven't found it. I just, I just got it on CD. Um, but yeah. It is, it is cool. And uh, John Beasley, sorry, John Baisley uh, from Baroness did the artwork, of course, for this and for their last album. Uh, I love his artwork, it's awesome. And I think just, uh, this will be the last one for tonight. Um, this is Japanther's new records. Uh, Eat Like Lisa, Act Like Bart. And this is not metal, if, if uh, you guys aren't familiar, because I don't think I've actually ever seen anyone in the VC show a Japanther record. Uh, they're really cool. They're uh, just a two-piece, uh, bass and drums, and they both sing. And they do a lot of, uh, they use a lot of samples, but uh, the samples are all recorded on tape. And I've seen them play live a couple of times, and they always, um, I think from New York, they always uh, 
play the samples from a cassette live as well, which I think is really neat because it just gives it that, you know, tape sound. Um, and they also uh, do this neat thing where they have uh, like an old rotary phone, the receiver from a rotary phone, and they actually um, s use it as a mic and, and sing into it. They've rigged it up to plug it into a PA. <laughs> and, you know, it sounds like shit, but it, it's a good kind of shit sound. <laughs> and it, it's really cool. So anyway, um, oh yeah, and their stuff is like catchy as hell too, so really cool to put this on and, and uh, have some fun with it. Really cool band. Check them out, Japanther. So hopefully I can do another video soon, but uh, I have a feeling that uh, my record buying is going to slow down uh, for the rest of the summer. Um, yeah, I've just been spending too much money on records. Uh, haven't we all been? So anyway, um, hopefully I'll see you before uh, two months pass again, but uh, you never know. If I uh, slow down on buying, then uh, I won't be making many videos. But, anyways, thanks a lot, guys. See you around.